you ever wonder what your baby should sleep in at night? Are blankets safe? When do they use a pillow? I'm going to teach you all about that today. Hi there, I'm Dr. Sarah Mitchell. I'm a sleep consultant at Helping Baby Sleep. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe to never miss a sleep tip. So when can your baby comfortably use a blanket? Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics doesn't want your child to have any blankets in their crib until at least age one. So how do you keep your kiddo warm at night? The blanket is a risk, right? Because even if you put it on the lower half of their body, they risk kicking it off and covering their face. So it poses a safety risk, and that's why you don't want to have a blanket. Now, if you just put your kiddo down in a plain onesie, how do you know if they're warm enough? Could you sleep at night without blankets? It would be pretty tough because the blanket provides you warmth, but also provides a sensory feeling of comfort. And that's why I recommend to all my clients to use something called a sleep sack or a wearable blanket. Essentially, it looks something like this. Okay, you would put your child in onesie underneath it and then there's a zipper down the front and it's basically like a little sleeping bag, if you will. And these come in a variety of sizes, textures and shapes. What you're looking for is something made out of natural fibers. So you want to have wool or cotton because they help your body regulate temperature and breathe more easily. Wool is uh, a superior fabric for that. Polyester sleep sacks are made of synthetics and they tend to trap the heat, which can cause your baby to look hot or sweaty or have rosy cheeks. So it's not my favorite, uh, especially in newborns. Newborns are not very good at temperature regulating. And so you definitely want to have them in a natural fiber and not use a polyester um, product. Okay. How long do you use a sleep sack for? Well, I used to sleep sack with my kids until they were two and a half, until I finally moved them into a toddler bed. And even then I kept her in the sleep sack for a little while until I, she got used to, because it's a barrier for movement in a lot of ways. Yes, I want my kiddos moving, but no, I don't want them moving around a lot in the night or at bedtime. So you can use a sleep sack as long as you want, okay? And there's different types as they get older. Some of them have legs, which are helpful, because here's the thing. Most kids are, move around in their night and they kick off the blankets. And then our body temperatures tend to drop at five in the morning, just as our house temperatures tend to. And colds can be a reason that your child wakes up. If you're wearing a sleep sack, that can prevent that wake up. What about pillows? That's another common question I get. When should my kiddo use a pillow? So the American Academy of Pediatrics doesn't want you using pillows until age two. Here's the thing, most toddlers move around a lot and they tend to sleep on their stomachs. You don't need a pillow for that. Pillows were designed for two reasons. One, they help adults tilt our heads slightly forward, which kind of helps prevent mouth opening. You actually want to be breathing through your nose when you're sleeping. If you're breathing through your mouth, mouth breathing, it's actually an inefficient way to sleep and your body actually tends to wake you up more at night to say, hey, stop doing that because there's more resistance. It's harder on your body. You tend to have poor sleep quality if you're a mouth breather. So pillows were invented to slightly flex your head to help you avoid that situation. That's for back sleepers. For side sleepers, the purpose of a pillow is to keep your spine in alignment. So it supports your head to your shoulder and so that your spine can be in a straight line. And that's the easiest on the joints. Two-year-olds, three-year-olds, they sleep all over the place. They don't really need a pillow essentially, but safety wise, not until age two. That's all that I really wanted to teach you today about blankets and pillows. So in summary, pillows, not before age of two, blankets, not before age of one, but you definitely want to give your child some warmth, warmth and using a sleep sack or a wearable blanket is the way to do that. If you have more questions about helping your baby sleep through the night, you can come take my simple sleep quiz. It's six questions to help you figure out what you're doing well and where you could be making some improvements for ages zero to two, and that'll be in the link below.